Hello everyone, welcome to Spectrum Classes. This is our another lab activity video and in this video we are going to determine the chloride content in a given water sample by using Mohr's method. So here please do not get confused with the Mohr's method and Mohr's salt. Okay, so Mohr's salt is something different. So the formula of Mohr's salt is NH4 whole twice SO4 dot FeSO4 dot 6H2O. So that is called Mohr salt. And here we are not talking about the Mohr salt. It is Mohr's method. This is Argentometric method too because in this method we are going to use silver nitrate as precipitating agent. So I hope you will first clear the confusion between the Mohr salt and Mohr's method before starting this experiment okay so these two are different first now let's start with the lab activity okay and in between the lab activity i will tell you about the viva questions here is the silver nitrate and this is how it looks like and it is kept in this kind of bottle so that is why this is n by 100 silver nitrate solution and we kept this in brown bottle because this is um, photosensitive so light can affect silver nitrate okay and uh, this is potassium chromate potassium chromate is used as a indicator so student get confused this is k2cro4 so student get confused between potassium chromate and potassium dichromate so let me give you the explanation here it is k2cro4 and here it is k2cr2o7 so k2cro4 looks like and this is k2cr2o7 how it looks like so you can differentiate between these two so k2cro4 is used as an indicator here in this experiment and this n by 100 agno3 is used for titration so this burette is also covered with the colored paper okay here is the sample water sample water is nothing but it is containing nacl solution so i have measured 15 ml of this sample water which is containing unknown concentration of nacl solution this AgCO3 was first standardized with the known concentration of NaCl solution. So those who are doing all the experiment by themselves that must understand standardization of the known compounds. So before titrating it, I just show you why we have added indicator to this solution. This is NaCl solution. This is NaCl solution and we are drop wise adding silver to this. So here you can see the turbidity of the solution. It shows that AgCl precipitates are started forming. Now we will do the same experiment with in the presence of indicator. You can see the color. This color is of K. K2CrO4 will react with the AgNO3 and it forms AgCrO4. So here Ag, Ag stands for silver, CrO4 from this indicator. So this is of brick red color. So we will do this titration till as I told you earlier that AgNO3 is photosensitive. So it reacts with the light, light and therefore we used to keep silver nitrate solution in the brown bottle this is the color of agcro4 and uh, in this way we come to know what is the end point because when we are doing this experiment in the absence of indicator then we do not know up at what point our end point comes but in the presence of indicator as the name suggests indicator it indicates the end point how it indicates the last drop will stop changing its color when the reaction is complete the, there is no change observed in the color of the solution here you may have a question how we come to know that is stops changing the color actually when we are adding the drop of agno3 to this solution 
that drop at the middle of this conic bottom of the conical flask will not show any visible change so that that was the end point if you see here this is changing the color at the bottom so till it is changing the color at the center it is is more darker so we have to watch it very carefully at the center of this conical flask here it is stops changing the color here i will tell you how to filter the precipitates okay so how to use actually the filter paper so this is the right way to use the filter paper you cut down a square filter paper here i have shown you and then fold it in this manner then trim the corners then get one side of this here you see and you just get one side three sides are on same side and in this way you keep this inside the funnel and before using this funnel you just wet this with your solvent so i as i used water so i washed this or wet this with the solvent so that it won't absorb all the solvent now i will start filter this precipitate okay and you may also have a question how this precipitate forms so there is a solubility product okay ionic product and solubility product so that i will tell you in the separate video okay because that is very important concept here you can see the precipitate i hope you understand the concept and you enjoyed this activity in this video and if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel and give me a thumbs up thank you all